I'm gonna show you how to build a realistic engine sounds in Unity. So there is two ways of doing that. First one is using one sound clip and the other one is using four channels or four sound clips. So first of all I'm gonna show you the one that uses just uh, one sound click. Sound clip. Okay, so this is the one that uses just uh, one sound clip. Now I'm going to show you the, the other one that uses four sound, sound clips. So I'm going to simply, I'm going to go in the audio script and I'm going to choose four channel. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you actually do this audio clip. So in the asset store, you can download this uh, standard asset. And in this standard asset, there is a script that is made just for audio. This one right here. And it has all explanation for everything. So all you have to do is disconnect this required and this namespace that directs it to the location and use it for your own. Okay, so let's do that. Let's create a, a script in our uh, scripts folder. Here I call it audio. And inside, I've disconnected the namespace and the requirement. Instead, I've added these uh, two lines. The one, uh, one of them is controller and one of them is imp input manager. So the reason why we need this is that the controller is used in here to, to capture the engine RPM, which is a variable that goes from point 0.0 to point 0.99 or from 0 to 1. So this right here calculates that. This is the same as this one. And the input is used in here. So I've done a simple uh, if statement in here. If the input is greater than 0, calculate it. If it's not, then take it as a uh, zero. So you have nothing else to do in here and you can hit save and then you can go to your vehicle and you're gonna need four sound clips or four channels. And it shows in here what they are. So I've generated four of them. Actually, I've generated three of them. The low one uses the uh, just one sound clip and the acceleration high and the deacceleration high is, are separate files. I'm going to link, I'm going to try to link them in the description. And this is the other uh, values that you could use and simply drop your controller in here and your input manager as I've done in here. And then you can just hit play. 